what is a map works for beginners family okay this lesson is going to be a short lesson on how to use the lower time frame or at least how i use the lower time frame so as you guys all know for aud usd i like looking at the four hour time frame and above uh, for i use the lower time frame when i want to analyze a certain area so let's just quickly look at this uh, little picture here um, so this is the four hour so you can see structure becomes smoother in the four hour and as you go start going lower so the one minute or sorry the 60 minute so the one hour time frame you can see you can still see structure but it's more uh, you know up and down it's not as smooth as the four hour and now if we look look at the 15 minute time frame you see there's more there's still structure but it's it's uh, you get these little highs and lows highs and lows highs and lows and it you know instead of being one move it actually took five moves in the 60 minute and here it actually took 21 moves uh, in the 15 minute time frame to reach the same point so see point this point here this point here and this point here it's the same point but see how the different time frames the structure is different it takes five moves instead of one and here it took 21 moves to get to this point which took five and one so just keep that in mind and now we're going to examine the lower time frame on our charts so right now we're at the four we're at the on the four hour time frame so say we want to examine uh, this point right here so usually we want to go into the lower time frame when when we're at a say a monthly level and we want to examine what price is doing at the monthly level so let me just highlight these areas here so i right here would have been a time that i wanted i would have wanted to examine on a lower time frame what was happening also right here i would have liked to examine on a lower time frame one more maybe right here we want to examine this area here on the lower time frame so right now we're on the four hour time frame we can see that uh you know let's just draw a little uh, some resistance lines really quick and let's just put you know, one here and that kind of makes a, a box for us so really we want to examine this part here what happened um, when price came to this monthly level this black line right here is a monthly level a monthly level so what we want to do is examine uh, the lower time frame and see what it shows us so I'm gonna to drop to the one hour time frame now and let's find that area so you can see here that there is more you know ups and downs see how it's kind of jumps up then it comes down and then it jumps up and it comes down so the lower time frame you see more um i don't want to say random movement because in the hour chart one hour chart there is still structure but um you could see there's a lot of a lot of different you know it's not as smooth as the higher time frame but we don't care about that what we're doing is, is examining what's happening right here so you can see that price was coming up it made a lower high sort of higher low higher high higher low and then it broke through and you know we're really just focusing on here so let's see here you can see that price was you know making a a lower high a lower low a lower high a lower low see how it came here and it kind of got stuck here and then it started dropping so you see you can see how it it in detail on the lower time frame now that we're on the one hour time frame you can see the fight for this level it jumped up came back down started fighting here drop below it and then quickly jump back up so you can see it's fighting for this level you know let's examine over here what's what's it doing and making a lower low a lower high a lower low and then you know it, it tested this level with this spike and then it tried to go below it and it couldn't and then it made this large bullish engulfing candle so you could have been you know examining the lower time frame and and you couldn't you know said hey we're at a monthly level 
um, price has failed to previously stay below this level so it's 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 failed to it's you know it failed to stay below here it quickly jumped up it tried to go back down again it quickly jumped up so you could say hey based on previous action or previous um, uh, attempts to drop below this level it got rejected and, and jumped up so you could have been examining at the one hour and waiting for a buy opportunity so you could have been like you know by examining the one hour time frame you could have made you know let's let's drop to the 30 minute time frame so you could have dropped you know you could have drew on the 30 minute time frame uh, right here you can drew a trend line and you could have been if you're waiting for a buy opportunity you could have been like okay it broke this trend line it found support on this trend line and it had a big bullish candle up so you could you can just examine on the lower time frame what's happening so if you're preparing to buy you want to wait till this downtrend is over and a, an up new uptrend starting so this could have been a buy opportunity but by examining the lower time frame it gives you details detailed view of what's happening uh, at this level so you can see lots of detail see how it's fighting for this level you can view all of this detail on the lower time frame and let's go to the 15 minute really quick and let's just examine this area here so it, you know just all you do is get more detail so you can see that it, it's trying it, you know a double bottom on on the 15 minute it made a double bottom and then it made this bullish engulfing you know this is all you know it still has structure it still has candles so even though it's the lower time frame and the and it's still random movements you can you can use the lower time frame just to examine the areas that we've marked from our from our monthly time frame we marked you know we said we knew that this level was a very important level and now we can zoom down and look at the real-time data and say hey I, I might possibly buy here once it breaks this this downtrend and so you could have you know examined on the 15 minute time frame that it broke this trend line and now you, you could have been, this could have been a buy opportunity just by examining the uh, lower time frame and the same thing goes for the five minute but you know I don't really suggest um, you know don't try to trade off the lower time frame it's only uh, meant for examining you know when you want detail you know look at this you get a lot of detail here of what's going on and you know same thing double bottom you can see you can see how it's reacting to this level this monthly level in great detail and you can just look for evidence uh, for a buyer or sell you know it's just it's just adding confirmation different ways to analyze so this is how you get detailed real-time analysis okay so I hope now you understand how we use the lower time frame for you know looking at the details and obviously the higher time frame always is the strongest and the best data to base your trades on okay thanks for watching talk to you soon